Chapter 8 Sindbad the Sailor On his return home from his first voyage, Sindbad decided to spend his days peacefully in Baghdad. But very soon he grew tired of an idle life and soon longed for some adventure. He bought some goods needed for traveling and set sail for the second time with some merchants. One day they landed on an island covered with fruit trees and lakes. But it had neither houses nor people. They explored the island for some time and had lunch. Sindbad fell asleep under a shady tree. When he woke up, he found he was alone. The ship had left without him. At first, Sindbad felt scared and wished he had never left his home in Baghdad. Then he decided to find a way out of this lonely island. So he climbed a tall tree and looked around. He found a dazzling white object lying on the ground. He quickly descended from the tree and ran towards it. When Sindbad touched the white object, he found it was smooth and soft. Quite suddenly, a huge bird came and sat on it. Sindbad realized the object was a huge bird's egg. He remembered he had heard about a giant bird called the rock. This then was a rock. Sindbad moved close to the egg beside one of the bird's leg which was the size of a tree trunk. He tied himself to it with his turban and waited. As soon as dawn appeared, the bird rose into the air carrying Sindhubad. It flew down in a valley surrounded by steep cliffs. Sindhubad untied his turban and freed himself. The valley was deep and narrow. The ground was strewn with diamonds of all sizes. There were also a number of dangerous snakes peeping out of their holes and hissing horribly. During the day, they stayed in their holes because of their enemy, the rock. They came out only when it was dark. So before dusk, Sindbad crept into a cave and blocked up the entrance to it with a stone to keep the snakes away. Next morning, he was thinking how to escape from this valley. When he saw a huge piece of meat rolling down a cliff, it fell with a thud before him. Several more pieces rolled down. Then he remembered the stories the sailors told of the famous Valley of Diamonds and of clever merchants who had devised a plan to collect the diamonds. They would throw large chunks of meat into the valley. The diamonds would stuck to the meat and the rock would carry the meat to its nest for its chicks. The merchants would later collect the diamonds from the nest. Sindbad quickly collected as many large diamonds as he could. Next, he picked up the largest piece of meat and tied it to his back. Then he lay down on the ground, waiting for the rock to pick him up. As expected, soon a large rock pounced on the meat tied to Sindhbad and flew away from the valley to its nest. Sindhbad quickly untied himself. He heard loud noises that scared away the birds and found himself surrounded by merchants. The merchants were really surprised to see Sindhbad instead of diamonds. He told them his 